I am gay. Get over it. If it's annoying, why should I care about that? It's my personal choice. Respect it. I think for a guy to show their feminine qualities is powerful. Why are people being hypocrites? We live in a world where you guys don't accept us. And if you guys hate me for that, so be it. I don't I could care less. Hi guys. So it's Pride Month and I wanted to do something in honor of Pride Month today for my vlog. I took two pictures from Pinterest and I'm going to recreate those looks. <laughs> I don't know how to do makeup in the sense that I can do the basic makeup that you guys have seen but I don't know how to paint, I've never done eyeshadow. The most I did was last year with these lemons but um, apart from that, I'm gonna go give it a shot. I've forgotten how that even happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quietly go to my mom's makeup studio and uh, check it out and take over and just use whatever she has and guess and choose and pick and it's like a challenge for me to create a look that I like for Pride Month and while I do so I'll be talking about I'll be answering some of your questions that I feel were very unnecessary on my YouTube page so let's go there we'll start talking there um I don't know where the keys are so we're going to my mom's studio mm -hmm. so I'm gonna sit here and do a makeup look. Let's see how that goes. I wanna see how my lighting looks on me right now. I look good. So I'm gonna fix things, settle it, make it look more prettier. And I'm gonna get going with the makeup looks. So oh, all the best to me. <laughs> so guys, I've set up something like this. So I'm gonna go and now look for the colors and see how that turns out. Um, I remember there was some makeup palette. Ooh, yes, it was this. What is this? Hmm, maybe the pink here? Anyways, let's put these both out. That was really easy. I do remember quite a lot from last time. I don't think I need anything else. Uh, these shiny things, maybe later I can add. But yes. Oh, is that a mirror? I needed this mirror. Okay. So now for makeup brushes, <laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to use, but like something thin like this. I hope so. Something like this may work. So let me pick up some thin brushes. This. This is too thick. Something thin I need. So yeah, maybe these three I can work around with. So let's see what comes out of these. This picture I really liked and I want to put this though here around my nose, right? But in my eyes, I want to use mm, this fire. So, I think I'll start with doing this fire look because it's a tough one. <laughs> one of the common questions I get, are you gay? I mean, guys, I've said this many times and I'll keep saying this, that yes, I am gay. Get over it. Uh, get over the fact that I'm gay. Like, do I have to keep reminding you guys that I'm gay? Like, get over it. Move on. What next? Like. I've told you guys I'm openly and proudly gay and if people are still curious after I'm saying it now please go and do research before you ask me that question it's annoying because when people associate your whole personality everything about you being gay and the first question they ask are you gay it is very annoying you know people don't keep questioning you said people that are you straight are you straight are you straight would you be won't you be annoyed i've never done such kind of makeup before it's always been the simple basic boring makeup so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna ruin it Ooh, interesting all the makeup people are gonna be really stressed like what are you doing parakram like <laughs> so don't find the faults let's just enjoy it as a fun activity i'm already enjoying it to be very honest for now so let me also answer your questions someone asked on my youtube video what are you male or gay i'm both so you guys need to understand the basic difference between sexual orientation and gender identity like i identify as male that's why i am gay a person who is gay is that male who is into another male person so i'm gay i identify as a male so i'm cisgender cisgender is you asking me am i a man yes i'm cisgender i was born a man and i identify as a man 
the opposite of cisgender is transgender that means you were assigned with a certain gender which you do not identify with the law is very confusing by involving others as and putting them as a third gender category in a third gender category in the sense that everyone who belongs to the lgbtqia plus community is in others category no they are confused between sexual orientation and gender identity so i understand why some people get confused but i think you know guys when you get confused it is very important ki tapai ro learn garne ki koshish karna so na internet sa there's the internet you look like girl behavior okay first of all i don't even know what you're trying to say but yeah i sound my behavior is that of a girl what's wrong there's so many of these questions that come to me ki why you behave like a girl but i tell you guys ki dude we are in this new century where anyone can behave any the way they want to and if i behave like a girl i think it's cool because women are cooler and you have mothers and sisters at home and uh, like what's wrong in being like a girl what is this notion that keta wire you have to behave like a keta i think this is so backward and outdated there have always been guys who behave feminine and women who behave masculine and things like that and it has been there in history why is it such a concerning thing i get it the society hasn't made you all made us aware about these things but it is our responsibility in the age of internet to be able to learn why he act so weird why he behave like gay because i am gay so you need to get over that whole day you just care for your face i'm shocked you are more serious in your face makeup and other i'm a girl and i don't care too much and not interested in makeup anymore but you mm, well you are a girl and you don't care about that i don't give a damn about that honestly if you are a girl and you don't care about whatever you don't care about why should i care about that so you don't care about that but i care about that so it's my personal choice respect it don't have to pass these lame comments brother but sometimes you overreact on something that doesn't feel like you are man okay you put both two things in one place uh brother but sometimes you overreact you calling my personality my behavior overreacting is you being completely phobic towards me and my behavior uh it is this internalized or not even internalized it's clear that you are calling my behavior overreact this is me my personality and for you to attack me like that and say that it's overreacting is invalidating who i am so please that is completely wrong and the way you behave doesn't feel like you are a man well that is your idea of being a man right my idea of being a man is this way and i am kita okay kiti mat bujena bujni sabani google ma janos ani partners please he is handsome but he is behaving like a girl and talking way also like a female bro sis you're a girl yourself what is wrong in someone being like you do you want men to be like how they are in this patriarchal society i think for a guy to show the feminine qualities is powerful we need that in this world in this patriarchal world where masculinity is given so much attention and importance a lot of you guys keep reminding me that i sound like karan johar i think that is also a stereotype um that you guys have because i have an indian accent and i am a feminist like karan johar there are many other people in india who have that indian accent and are a feminist and may sound like me and karan johar but that doesn't mean you term us into that category or oh, you sound like karan johar like it just shows your lack of awareness so i want to make one thing very clear that you guys have been extremely kind to me tapale itni maan din samala you guys give me so much love and support and i'm truly grateful i am extremely privileged to be from this community and at the same time get so much love from all of you and i'm truly grateful so this is in no way trying to gain sympathy because i get 90% love it's that 10% who hate and that 10% that hate me i get so triggered and it affects me so much think about those people which are 90% of the people from my community here in south asia who get 90% hate and only 10% love unara la kasto bhai raola it is i can't even think about it i feel so lucky and blessed but i feel so angry and upset at the same time because why are people being hypocrites why are you only supporting me okay you guys will say we are supporting you not for your sexuality but for who you are as a person you have to understand being the sexuality that we are being from our community we are in a minority and you guys must support us 
if you don't like us for who we are don't show hate because it is a marginalized group and for you guys to attack people from a marginalized group is not right if you don't like somebody stop the hate don't comment unfollow block but don't go and shower hate and bully them that is not right you have the choice to like or not like anyone but don't with the hate we are dealing with so much hate anyways people are dealing with so much hate be a good ally being a good ally only doesn't mean that you are not homophobic i'm not queer phobic so i'm an ally no you have to correct those your friends your family members when they are when they have phobic stuff to say about us that is when you are being a responsible ally show support give support to queer people their businesses those who need help be there for them give them the platform give them the space to speak it's not about you it's about you being in the back seat and supporting us genuinely and truly not just because it's cool in today's time to support us like oh my god guys i'm not a queer phobic i'm i support people yay and benefit of that i don't think that's right where my privileges is also lie in my own community is where being gay being a guy cis gender gay people have it easier than the other people than lesbian people than bi people than trans people than asexual people than intersex people so i see my privileges in my life in society in terms of my caste in terms of the family i come from at the same time i see my privilege in my own community where being gay you have way more representation than anyone else from the lgbtqia plus community so i think it's so important to check your privileges know where your privileges are instead of getting defensive and um saying that no but i'm not i'm not fully privileged yes but we need to learn it's so important to unlearn and learn ke matlab hamro ego aun sa mero pani thyo ego i was there was a time where i was like no but then i sat down and i said you know as a human as someone who has gone through my own stuff i acknowledge the part where i'm privileged and i'm not and then i see other people who are way less privileged than me and then i don't have the right to argue about who's more privileged or less i think forums like twitter clubhouse if you follow the right people you learn so much apart from the internet you know i get so much of this hate comments chi I want to talk about I'm going to beep it out but I'm going to say it so you guys understand what is the word you cannot use this word I'll say I'll say cha okay for that word so many people say oh don't call him a cha you may be a cha those are people trying to defend me but in a wrong way okay you cannot call anyone a ch it is not right to use that word it's it's a horrible word to use it's very problematic and it it's very 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 offensive so please guys the problem if you are hearing me out don't try to question me being a person from the community hear me out knowing that you cannot use that word and don't ever support anyone who uses that word always correct them it is so triggering you guys don't understand so please 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 guys you guys have to be very responsible and I urge you guys that you know people who are from my community please please the bearu so many of you guys follow me so many of you guys show me love so many of you guys have been accepting to me please be accepting to other people as well don't only think that you are kind to me and that means you can be rude to other people please 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 support other people we need your help show real support give people from my community a platform to speak up if they have something to share enhance that voice share it in your page give them the portal to be able to spread their message across so we need it not only in pride month throughout the year if someone needs help with donations if someone has art someone has work good work promote it follow pages i'll i'll suggest you guys to follow carlo 101 they this month they have very interesting programs with the lgbt community they are enhancing the voices of artists from our community check out their art like it follow them share their posts this is the time to be able to prove that you are a true ally actions actions matter i'm just trying to explain to you guys in a very simple way i'm nearly done with this look it's turned out better than i expected basic we get hate for just speaking about ourselves and fighting i get hate on tiktok with by so many misogynist people and queerphobic people who just 
vehemently hate on me and obsessively hate on me because I have spoken against other people. And what do those other people say? Oh my God, you are such a big creator. How can you say such a thing in my comment section? No, but you are posting posts that are so bad and shouldn't be posted and it's getting views and people are getting inspired or just getting carried away. And they think it's normal to do that. So I have to button and speak. And if you guys hate me for that, so be it. I, don't, I could care less. Don't expect people from our community to teach you guys like it's not our duty it is your responsibility as an ally and your responsibility as a human being to read up yourself we aren't sitting here to educate you guys there's so many more things that i want to say which haven't come up to my mind i forgot to take pointers but in the future not only when it's pride month i will be speaking more about who i am and trying to make you guys more aware urge you guys to spread love and positivity especially to people from marginalized communities who need it because of the constant hate and bullying they face every time. The reason we are in a different community is because we live in a world where you guys don't accept us and that's how we formed a community of our own. But otherwise, you and me, there's no difference. So, I've created this look. I want to bring, I want to add some spice to this. Like, this guy has added some glitter. Maybe I can add some white color stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. I saw glitter. So I'm gonna bring some glitter. Pink glitter. I don't know what brush to use and how does this... Yeah, so this is the glitter that I'm gonna put. Bro, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm quite happy with this look. What do you guys think? I'm gonna clean this later. I'm proud of myself. I know it's really basic and the makeup artist will be like, you karya ke ho. <laughs> but I think it's interesting. Happy Pride guys. Please be a good ally. Read up what it is to be a good ally, a good supporter of our community. If you're not from our community, I'm going to put the resources down in my caption. Some links I'll attach. For those who don't know the basic LGBTQIA+, I'm going to put a link on that, about that below too. I'm going to put a link of certain things below, which I feel that you guys must read. Certain laws and rules about our community. Um, in Nepal, which you guys think is very forward and very ahead. We, we were ahead of our times, but it's not the case. Thank you guys. If you guys enjoyed this look, uh, um, this is the picture I took. So guys, I am going to be posting this picture on my Instagram. So please go show some love there too. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.